Right before Dead Man Mode, Sea Engineer made me an offer. Me, a man with very little game knowledge outside of PvP, a man who didn't do his own fire cape until this year, a man who does not know how to one tick prayer flick. He offered me 100 mil to get a fire cape on a PvP hardcore Iron Man. Now, if you know me, you know I've never played any type of Iron Man, nor have I done 99% of what the game has to offer outside of PvP. This is going to be extremely difficult, but I'm up for the challenge, so without further ado, welcome to my hardcore Iron Man, limited to PvP worlds, no prey flick. So I don't really know how I'm going to start off this account. My basic plans is to get 43 prayer, get magic levels for teleports, maybe get a bone crossbow so I could start trading range, and get some decent money so I could just do stuff. I don't really know how the hardcore Iron Man process goes. I've got a few things in mind like quests to level me up. And we're just going to get started and see how it goes. No, no one in the world right now that I can see that is going to kill me, but uh, we'll see. I'm just going to start off pickpocketing some men for 5 thieving. Okay, I'm on 1 HP, so if I fail, I'm pretty sure I just get killed. So I'm not going to lie, I already did it once and I managed to get the thief, but I'm pretty sure there could have been a chance. This level 64 is just sitting here and he keeps looking at me. And there's been a other couple accounts teleporting in. But I guess I literally just have to wait for my HP to regenerate before I can carry on. Honestly, 5 thieving is the longest grind I've ever had to do, and I can already tell I'm going to hate hardcore Iron Man, but let's carry on with it. Alright, we didn't even bother going the Wizard's Way or through Varok Center, as I think there's a much higher chance that I die going that way. We're going to get ourselves some teas, and then we're going to get our 10k and hopefully not die on the way. Now this is the level I'm worried about. I don't know what the Giant Spider's max hit is. I don't know if it's a 10, but I know it can hit hard. Oh my god, no, 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 oh my god! Okay, well, I could have just died to that, because I just checked. I, the reason I got attacked is because I was actually checking the max hit, and the max hit is a 7. So he could have hit me a 5 while I was going through. At 8 HP, I am. Okay, and that is our 10k. We have successfully lived through the stronghold of security. Let's get on with the pro. There are level 37s all around Varok. This shit is scary, dude. Okay, and this is what we spent all our money on so far. We've got 2.3k left, leather gloves, and some cast for some runes. All right, I don't know what these guards can hit, and to be honest, I don't really want to find out either, but I'm pretty sure I can use these rocks to safe spot them, and I'm just going to stay here until I get 13 magic. Okay, and that is 13 magic. I pretty much just AFK'd the whole thing. I might as well just carry on finishing killing this guard, but I pretty much just AFK'd the whole thing, and let's carry on with some progress. All right, we're chronicled up with four charges for now. I'm also just going to get some jug of wines as cheap food because you can buy them for literally one coin each. Okay, I hopped all worlds, including the free-to-play world. I will be using the free-to-play world sometimes during the series, just to let you guys know, and I now have 20 jugs of wine. Let's carry on. Okay, time to start the fight of Witch's House. If I die here, you're probably never going to see this video, to be honest, but let's go into it. Okay, and this is the Witch's House done. What HP does this get us? Tw Whoa, dude. I'm amazing at the game, bro. I'm 25 HP. I'm almost, what, I'm a quarter of the way to 99. This is going well. Okay, I just realized I'm running through Edgeville. Um, luckily, we're on a less populated world, but I'm just going to pull this lever. This is the fastest way I can think of, is I'm literally just going to pull the lever and go to- Please, no one be waiting here. I can literally get attacked by anyone right now. Okay, no, we're chilling. Time to chop some trees. All right, and it's time to start the Monk's Friend quest, I think it's called. Okay, Monk's Friend done. That gives us woodcutting XP for whatever reason, and eight law runes, which you can use for teleports. It's the only source I have of law runes I have right now. All right, time to do the fight arena for some more easy levels. I haven't run into anyone here yet, so the only thing I can really die to is NPCs. Okay, and this should be fight arena done, which is going to get us some really nice levels i'm pretty sure some thieving and really high attack almost 30 attack and 16 thieving i'm just gonna get the 16 thieving to 25 thieving really quickly as well as getting me some more food i'm just gonna go steal cakes in our dome i just saw one of those ultimate iron mans that only stay in uh, what's it called in pvp worlds he just went up this ladder i don't know how to get through the door i wonder what he's doing he just said sup to me he's like level 50 kind of scared me a little bit okay just got 25 thieving we got a bunch of cakes in the bank so we should have a lot of food to do stuff if we don't die within the next couple hours let's carry on with the quests okay we just started waterfall but we're gonna do like two quests at a time so we're also gonna go do tree no village when the quest takes us Okay, and that is Tree Gnome. I'm at 35 attack now. I'm quickly going to get 10 agility, and then I'll go finish up Waterfall. All right, we're about to get 10 agility, and let's go complete Waterfall after that. Nice. Okay, first person I've seen in a while. It's level 54 talking to me. I'm not sure what he's up to, but we're going to head out of here. Okay, that's the Waterfall done. 40 attack, 30 strength, and we got some more stuff. All right, and that is 20 agility. Okay, now that we have 20 agility, we're going to get ourselves some more teleport cards. We're going to get ourselves an event, event RPG, and we're just going to get ourselves some more wines as well. Alright, the next quest we're going to do are the Restless Ghost, Rune Mysteries, and Cook's Assistant. We're going to be in Lumbridge for pretty much all of these, and I don't know if you guys have watched Sea Engineer's latest video, but he scouts a lot of people at Lumbridge, so I'm going to have to be careful. Okay, and that is Restless Ghost done, and our first bit of prayer XP. We are now 9 prayer. Okay, now it's time to do Rune Mysteries. Rune Mysteries done, which means I can train the most fun skill ever, Runecraft. 
I just saw OSR as Curious, who is the ultimate Iron Man, I think, that's the engineer killed. I can't remember exactly, but uh, yeah, we gotta keep our eye open. Okay, it's time to start the hardest quest in RuneScape history, Cook's Assistant. Okay, and that is Cook's Assistant done, 300 cooking XP for cooking. Um, I forget what I'm doing now. Okay, and that is 25 agility. That took so long, man. I've been here for hours, so uh, let's carry on. Okay, and it's time to start the Grand Tree. Oh my god, it's level 45. Teleport? It's level 45 with the tome, bro. He can one-hit me. I'm logging out. No, thank you. This guy just scared the fuck out of me. It's just a 120 in max strength waiting for someone to teleport in and so he can claw them out. Okay, we should be able to just save slot this black. Oh my- Okay, okay. Maybe not? Oh my god. Um... Bro, how do you do this? Um... Okay, we're gaming. Okay, and that is the Grand Tree done. We're now at 44 attack. We've got some agility XP putting us to 31 agility. And we have 24 mage as well. Okay, so we have a problem. I have 648 GP to my name. I want to train my magic to like 45 at least for a Camelot telly. Maybe not today though. And I also want to go start killing dragons to get myself 43 prayer. But I have 650 GP. I have 31 agility, which means we're going to head to the agility pyramid. I'm probably going to fail a bunch. and It's going to take me a while to get quite a good amount of GP. But we're gonna do it anyway because I don't know what else to do. All right, let's get started. All right, if you were ever thinking about starting Agility Pyramid at 31 Agility, don't. I started this 23 minutes ago was when I started my recording of when I started over there. As you can see, I've gone through three water skins, almost four. I've gone up almost three agility levels. I've used every single one of my cakes and I still have 24 GP. This game is awesome. 43 minutes later and I've got my first pyramid top. I'm not even shitting you. 43 minutes for 10k. Okay, I was planning on doing this longer, but I hate it. Um, we've got our first 100k minus whatever GP we've used, so I'm gonna head out of here and move on to the next part of my plan, I guess you could call it. Okay, so the plan is to pretty much dump all my GP into Fire Strikes and then head over to Fire Giants. I know I could do Zamorak Warriors, but I don't really know anything about them and I haven't researched them. And Fire Giants just have some better drops overall, which will hopefully make me some money back in the long run. Hope is to pull a rune skim early, make some GP, and then we're going to go try and get ourselves 43 prayer with the runes we have left over. If we get lucky, otherwise, I don't know what we're going to do. I just realized I'm the stupidest, stupidest hardcore Iron Man ever. I've just bought 2.5k fire runes. I literally have a fire staff. That's what I'm going to be using to cast my fire strikes. So I've just wasted all that money. I need to be buying mind runes. I'm so dumb. Okay, I bought 2k fire strikes for now. I have no idea how far that's going to get me, but I'm just going to keep this GP just in case. I don't really know what the plan is. I don't know what these guys' max hits are, but I'm not planning on dying. Alright, so I've done 65 kills and I ran out of mind runes and almost out of air runes. I have a bunch of fire runes from a mistake earlier, so I'm just going to buy air runes and more mind runes and we're going to get back here. Maybe do another 65 kills and hopefully by then we have a rune skin. Let's go. We got the rune skin at all. We've been here for a while. I'm not sure exactly how many kills we did, but it was under 128, which is under the drop rate. I think around like 80 or something. Got ourselves all the way up to 47 magic and 16 prayer just from burying big bones. Also 36 HP. And I can wield a rune skin now, which is really great. Okay, now that I have my rune skim, I want to move instantly on onto getting bones for my prayer, but I can't get an anti-dragon shield until I have 32 quest points, so I'm gonna have to bang out that first. Look at this guy, it's a PvP only ultimate Iron Man, level 53 with rune knives. I'm trying to buy some more jug of wines right now, there's a level 53 and a level 56 here. Is it worth it? I'm gonna go for it, fuck. Jesus, bro. Buying wines has never been more scary, luckily they're just outside of my combat bracket. I see a level 30 woodcutting here, man, I might have to go for it, honestly. All right, boys, first ever PK trip. We're going for it, come on. I believe in you, mage. A 10? He's running for it. There's no way he has any food, right? Bro, he's so dead. This is this is literally, what? I can't attack him anymore. This game sucks. I even was about to type 1-0. Bro, this guy just told me to kick rocks. I don't think I'll be doing that, Mr. Aiden244. Okay, I'm gonna go mine pure essence, and the inventory I have literally only has one food, but I also have teleports to Camelot now, so it's a little bit safer, but don't wanna get hit on this inventory regardless. Oh my god, there's a level 23 here as I come out. He's a PvP hardcore Iron Man himself. Bro, I could get him. No, I can't. He's gone. But he I wonder what he was doing that I couldn't do. I was trying to hunt him down. I think the most I think the ballsy thing is to just go back and mine essence. Even if this guy has another account, bro, I doubt he's gonna be able to kill me. I don't know. I'm feeling confident. And that is Priest in Peril done. 
getting us to 19 prayer. All right, we still need we still need to get to 32 quest points. So I'm going to go bang out Romeo and Juliet real quick. Okay, Romeo and Juliet done. That's 24 quest points. Okay, I'm going to do Sheep Herder, which apparently isn't the same thing as that Sheep Quest in Lumbridge. This is going to give me four quest points. Okay, that's Sheep Herder done. That puts me up to 28 quest points. I'm going to go do Ernest the Chicken now, which should be put me to 32. Okay, and that is Ernest the Chicken done. We are at 32 quest points, and if I'm not mistaken, we can start Dragon Slayer. Anti-Dragon Shield acquired. Okay, got about 1.6k Fire Strikes to go kill Blue Dragons with. However, we only have three Law Ruins, so we need to go make a quick pit stop. Okay, I'm not exactly sure how this works, but I'm about to pull the lever, so yeah. I can now get attacked by up to level 101s, 102s, and we are now in level 53 Wilderness. I'm shitting my pants. I haven't really scouted this. I can't be bothered to scout it, so if I die, I'm dead, but like, should be good, yeah? Okay, the butt clench is over, we're alive. So the reason I've came here is I need some law rins for teleportation. I'm gonna need some gnats eventually, and I will need some cosmics as well to do Alex. It does take away a little bit of our cash stack, but it's just stuff that we need. Okay, quick teleport into Faldor Multi. I think we'll be good. Yeah, we're chilling. I got fucking poisoned by the poison scorpions, bro. I don't know how much damage it does, but I don't have that many jugs of wine. Okay, we got here with eight wines left, and we're still poisoned getting hit threes. I don't know if, well, how this is gonna go, but we're starting. Fifth kill and I've got a Mithril Axe, I need that for Animal Magnetism, so we are in fact gaming. Anyway, I've realized that with every inventory I finish, I'm gonna have zero food teleporting into Fallot or Multi, so yeah. We good. Another inventory of Bones done. Okay, another inventory done. Another invent done. I just ran out of runes. Um, yeah. Zelra Kill Hardcore just logged in, looks like a scout. Or maybe it's... Zelra kill hardcore. Could that be C Engineer's new account? Who knows, bro? Who knows? We'll figure out what this little guy is up to later. Looks like he may be the competition. But for now, we get back to the Blue Dragons. Please, no one be waiting here. We're chilling. Oh my god, bro. Level 99. You just scared the fuck out of me. Thankfully, this is my last kill. Okay, another invent done. He's here. I TB'd him. He was at Black Dragons, not Blue Dragons. He's half HP. DDS, please. He's burying his oh my god, he just got 29.35, he's out the game. He was just burying his bones, I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna kill him, see what he's got. 316k loot, nice. Another inventory done. Another inventory, another inventory done. Oh my god, level 66, he can't hit me, 84 can't, but there's so many people in Draenor right now. I need to get more jugs of wine if I'm gonna go back to Blue Dragons, which is why I came here. Okay, I ran out of runes again, but this thing's on like 0 HP, so I'm gonna try and like kick it. No, there's no way I'm gonna hit on 30 strength. I'm getting out of here, bro. I should have enough bones in the bag. Let's go try it out. Okay, we have about 100 dragon bones on us, just a little less. If we get lucky at the altar, this will be enough to get us 43 prayer, but we have to get even more lucky to make it up there, train our prayer, make it back down, all without dying, only on PvP worlds. This is gonna be risky. Let's do it. Oh my god, bro. A level 53 just logged in as I was doing it, bro. Oh my god. Holy shit. I killed him on this account, but holy fuck, that was scary. Oh my god. Dude, this shit is so scary. <gasps> oh my god, dude. As I logged in, a level 79 logged in. Then you're trolling, bro. That was scary as fuck. Okay, luckily he's running away though. Jesus Christ, that was scary. Okay, this is the last inventory of bones. It should get us to 43. Look out, look out. Okay, and that is 43 prayer. We have a couple more bones left. We're just going to use them, obviously, get the best bang for our buck and see where it gets us. Had to log out like 30 times. Had to do this over the course of like three days. This was definitely very scary and it's definitely a good look for things to come because... I'm not going to be able to just do things, I've realized, but we'll see how it goes. Okay, and we're out of bones. It's time to make the walk down. I think the walk down and escaping is going to be a lot safer than what we have just been doing, honestly. This is completely different to any other content I've uploaded on this channel ever. I've never played any sort of Iron Man or even played the main game at all. So feedback is appreciated in the comments, guys. If you guys have any tips or any ideas for what you guys want me to do on this hardcore Iron Man limited to PvP World series, let me know. Obviously, the main goal right now is to work towards that fire cape. 
But if I'm being honest, I don't really know how to go about doing that. If you guys have enjoyed the video, hit that like button and please subscribe if you are new so you don't miss a future episode of the series. 43 prayer achieved, a bunch of other stuff done. I'll see you guys later.